Hi, and welcome at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, we're going to test Keepit's online backup speed and how easy it is to store and secure your data with Keepit. Well, I gotta say that Keepit is a software-only backup provider, so you only are able to restore and, and backup your data via the software that you gotta download from the web page. There is no such thing as a web client where you can share uh, your files with friends or sync your files among multiple devices. So this is not possible with Keepit. It is a backup-only solution. This, however, it does fairly well, so the, there's absolutely no fuzz. It's pretty easy to set up everything, and we're going to have a look at this in just a moment. So first, you're going to sign up with your credentials, which is first your email address, which you used to uh, sign up for an account on keepit.com, and then you enter your password, which you need to access your to get access to your account. And after a quick uh, validating procedure, um, you are actually being prompted with a, a settings menu where you can uh, choose folders that keep it shall back up. There is the automatic file selection where you can just select the folders, the standard Windows folders like music, pictures and videos. And there is the advanced selection, the advanced view. And we're going to use that because we want to back up the standardized folder we prepared of one gigabyte in files to be able to compare the backup speeds among the backup providers. So we're going to unselect every uh, check mark here with those folders and going to select our test folder right now. What bothered me a little bit is that after modifying the folders, I always had to click on apply before I was actually able to enter advanced view. And I think a modern software should actually uh, do that in real time that I don't have to click on apply. However, let's go just quickly into advanced view and see what we can do here. So we have, as usual in the backup pro with backup providers, you have the file browser where you can select basically every file and every folder that you wanna back up. And here we're just gonna quickly enter our um, folder, which we have stored in cloud backuping and test files. And this is roughly one gigabytes in files, audio files, video files, pictures. And in this settings menu, the only thing that you can set up basically is when you wanna perform the backups and on which days you wanna perform the backups. And for basic users, this is actually enough, but I would really love to see more flexibility. I would like to schedule my backups and want to specify the the hours and um, probably also do a little more specifications such as uh, bandwidth throttle if, for example, your internet connection is not that fast to tame a little bit the backup providers and save bandwidth. Okay, but just now let's have a look at the backup stat the, the backup process itself. It allocates the server resources and then starts the backup accordingly. And we're just going to have a look at how fast this backup actually works. And I was gladly surprised that Keep It Only took um, two hours and 12 minutes to uh, backup everything. The only problem I had was that the progress bar um, kept frozen at 1%. And this is actually what bothered me a little bit because I didn't know actually if it was working or not. However, um, you can see that at the bottom of the screen, there is a detailed individual file status um, progress bar. So, and this was actually moving. So I was quite sure that everything was working well. However, um, I don't know if this is a bug or um, if it's just me, so probably you can leave a comment if you have uh, other experiences with that software and could leave it here in cloudbackuping.com or on YouTube. So when your backup is finished, you get a little pop-up message here that the backup is successfully done. And um, this is basically good for the backup process. I was quite happy with the speed, but the most important part is yet to come because we need to restore our data. And if you lose your data, if everything fails, you want to restore that data fast. And we're going to review that in the next video. So join me and we're going to have a look at whether the restore process works flawlessly or not. If you like this video, as always, please vote for it on YouTube or leave a comment. I'd be more than glad to hear your thoughts. Goodbye.